Fire in the hall. So uh, I'm glad you heard about the power glove. Um, what I want to show you is some work I've been doing with um, water. Do you know what water is made out of? Hydrogen and oxygen. You ever hear of the Hindenburg? Yes. There's an airship, a German airship, yeah, and there was a spark. And what happened when the spark hit the hydrogen? Exactly. You might have seen this at the uh, grocery store. You know what this is? Yeah, sometimes the answer is right there. There are other uses for it, actually. Uh, I think they use, it looks like it's used for cleaning, too. Well, what it does is it makes the water conductive, okay? It's, there's five gallons of water here. Here's a bucket, nice orange bucket. Everything is wet because there's water. This is a funnel, very good. Okay, and I make sure it's off. Electricity and water, not a good idea to stick your hands in electricity and water. So the, I made sure it's off, it's unplugged. I'm gonna pull out what's in here. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna raise it so you can see. Can you guys see this? What is it? Strainer, very good, ding, 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 10 points. This is a strainer from Target. Okay, so I do Home Depot and Target technology. It's not just one strainer, it's two strainers, okay. And there's a red wire and a black wire. Okay, red wire is, do you know if it's positive or negative? Positive, very good, it's always positive. Red wire is positive, black one's negative. And there's this plastic on it, okay? Does plastic conduct electricity? No, and because there's plastic on the rim, they're not touching, okay? If, you, if they were touching, they'd short out. So there's one on top of the other, and they have tiny little holes in it, okay? I'm gonna put this down in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put electricity through it and it's gonna make gas. On the positive one, it's gonna make oxygen and on the negative one, it's gonna make hydrogen. And I wanna collect that gas. So how am I gonna collect it? Uh, with a funnel, okay. So now the gas is gonna come up this funnel and I wanna fill this bottle with the gas. But what's in the bottle? Air, yes, air has some oxygen, 20% oxygen, but it has 80% nitrogen. And I want to fill this just with my hydrogen and oxygen. So what I'm going to do is I'm filling it, I'm going to fill it with water. Now it's full of water, okay? I'm going to do something called water displacement. I'm going to put my thumb on this, put it in, I'll put it in the water. I'm going to turn it upside down. And this is the cool part. I'm going to raise the bottom, right? It's still full of water. Even though most of the bottle's above water, I'm going to put it on the funnel. Now it's full of water. And those bubbles, the theory is, the bubbles are going to come up and push the water out of the way. That's called water displacement. So I do kind of things that might be dangerous, but they're not dangerous if you do them safe. So always protect your eyes, protect your hands, and protect your friends, OK? So we got this ready. There's the thing. OK. Now this is a, this is a really, uh, uh, good power supply. It's 12 volts just like your car battery and it could do about 50 amps. And if I turn it on and if you watch down here you see bubbles and you front, anyone sitting in the front row you can really see it. Now it's bubbling because we're putting electricity that's breaking the water up into what? Hydrogen, Hydrogen and oxygen. Okay. Okay so I'm going to turn it off because I want you guys to like me, and if I do what I'm going to do here with a lot of it, you, well, you might like it, but the people who own this building might not. Uh. We'll see what we're talking about in a minute. Now, I'm going to take it apart, and I'm going to put a little stopper on it. Okay. Now, remember we were talking about, uh, we put electricity in, I put energy in, right? This power supply used energy from the wall. I put energy to break this apart. There's really energy now in that hydrogen and oxygen being separate. Now if I can convince it to come back together, what do you think it'll turn into? Water, yeah. And where's that all that energy I put in? All that energy I put in to break it apart? It has to come out, yes. So if I convince this to turn back to water, it's gonna release all that energy. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. Now, there's fools and there's smart. This is foolish. Why is this foolish? <laughs> Too close. Too close, good. Okay, let's go into smart mode. Okay, so I've got something here. That's okay. This is magnesium ribbon. Magnesium is a what? It's 
a metal. metal. Very good. Very good. It's a metal. This is really thin magnesium. And we're going to take some blue tape. Golly, this is starting to make me a little nervous now, but that's kind of exciting. I'm just going to tape, <laughs> tape the magnesium to here. Doesn't this look awfully familiar? It's a fuse. It's a fuse. Okay. Now, the people in the front, maybe you <laughs> maybe just want to go in the back. Just, yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> okay, let's see. The thing I love about this experiment is I get to say fire in the hole. Sweet. I don't know if you've ever said that before, but it's really cool. And people get nervous when I run away. Okay, I think we're all, I guess you're okay. <laughs> Notice the word guess. <laughs> Okay, um, who wants to be a fireman, a firewoman? Uh, we want to be a young man. Now don't do this unless you need to, alright? Don't get excited, it'll be okay, but remember safety first. Just, if you see, I mean, if you really see a fire, maybe a little water, but I think it'll be okay. Actually, why don't you just put a little water on this thing here? Are we all ready? Fire in the, wait, we don't say it yet, sorry, when it lights. Fire in the hole!